Hello lovely people of the internet, it is that time of year again. It's that back breaking, backpack carrying time of year, aka back to school season. I know for a lot of you, this is your first time being back in person for school since a whole school year ago, and that's pretty nerve wracking. But at least the one thing that you guys won't have to worry about is outfits because I got you all with these fall to winter outfits. Honestly, as long as you feel confident in yourself and comfortable with yourself, wear whatever you want. The dress code is obviously very sexist because it only applies to girls and things that they cannot actually control most of the time. I'm quite lucky to go to a school that doesn't have very strict dress code. I know that maybe a few years before I actually got into high school, there was like a whole protest to change the dress code because it is sexist. So yeah, I'm really thankful I get to go to a school that doesn't have such rigid limitations on dress code. This first piece is this thrifted floral shirt that I found in the sleepwear aisle and I know a lot of us want to just go to school like this but if you want to look cute but also feel like you're wearing your loungewear then all you could do is change your pajama top to a simple graphic tee and your bottoms to some comfortable pants. I've got these green kind of cargo like jeans. These are some of my favorite jeans even though I only have about two pairs. They're baggy in all the right places but they're not so baggy that I feel like I'm walking in a whole puddle of jeans. Not focusing on this t-shirt. This t-shirt I thrifted. It's this beautiful brown t-shirt. I saw it on the rack and I thought it was a really cool pattern and it pairs very well with this style of jeans. Whenever you've got a basic outfit, you need to accessorize. So I've got these two layered necklaces. For our shoes, I've got these simple Converse that I got on sale a few years ago. And altogether, this outfit is just a perfect green, brownish type of tone. Very earthy, very natural, very comfortable, and great for a first day fit. Another variation of this outfit would be to change these dark jeans to a light wash jean to give it a more streetwear effect. So these light jeans contrast with the brown t-shirt really well. And and then you've also got that same color tone from the t-shirt matching with your shoes so it's just a very nice coordinated look i didn't tuck the shirt in this time to give it that very baggy very comfortable loose fit and i did this little fold that i've been seeing on tiktok a lot where girls would wear oversized shirts and they would like fold it in front of their stomach i call it the kangaroo pouch because it looks like you've got this little pouch in your shirt and i don't know how exactly it works but it just all works together very well pair that with a claw clip and you are set to go i actually like this outfit a lot more than i thought i would because recently i have been the biggest fan of extremely baggy outfits but I feel like this one is the right amount of fitted and baggy that way you can still feel pretty put together. Third variation of this outfit for when it gets a little bit chillier and you can't just wear a t-shirt outside is to add a baggy cardigan. If you tuck in the shirt you could probably also add a crop cardigan but I feel like this is a very cute loungy look and this is one of my favorite cardigans as you guys know from my other outfit videos and the brown and black colors from this cardigan go perfectly with the shirt. This outfit is very fall. I feel like it represents that period when you're transitioning from that back to school period to quizzes and tests every other week and yes that is a little bit sad and it is a little bit disheartening but at least you can look good and you can look put together with all these outfits next up it's getting a little bit colder it's getting a little bit chillier everyone's suddenly sick for absolutely no reason in school and so what you really need to wear during that period is a nice sweater and this is one of my favorite sweaters that i thrifted it's this beautiful blue knit sweater it's got these beautiful blue stripes and patterns knit into it and it's got the perfect baggy look obviously you can see someone cut this sweater kind of horrible I did not cut it myself. I bought it like this, but it is still a very nice look. I think whoever donated this piece cut it, thought it was a bad mistake, and then just donated it. But it's okay because now I'm wearing it and I think it's really cute. I feel kind of ridiculous for using the word silhouette. I love how this outfit emphasizes that silhouette because it's baggy on the top and a little bit loose on the bottom. I also swapped out the Converse for these cute New Balance shoes that I also thrifted. That's from my other thrift haul. But yeah, changing the shoes to a lighter beige color makes the outfit a lot less heavy and a little more bright and springtime kind of chubby looking shoes are very cute with this whole fit and then if you swap in those jeans with a cute little mini skirt you've got a whole new outfit now we've kind of slid the thermometer back to fall and spring with this mini skirt because i don't think anyone in their right mind would wear this in january but it's still a very cute look this skirt is a dark blue velvet and i think that these two materials paired together actually goes really well it's a very holiday party outfit type of feel like you definitely show up to some christmas party or some holiday party dressed like this along with these little platform shoes the whole outfit is a very bouncy cute feel even though I'm not the most comfortable in short skirts and mini skirts I think that the baggy cropped cardigan with this tighter skirt matches the whole outfit really well moving on to winter style shoes for when it starts getting a little rainy or a little snowy we've got these genuine leather boots that my mom actually picked out for me they were maybe 13 bucks not the most experienced thrift shop person so I don't know if that's considered expensive or not but I feel like they're a really good deal because they're a beautiful brown color and they've got a little bit of a heel 
They're pretty worn in actually, which is great for me because that means they're super soft and very comfortable. They've got this beautiful brown color that I think adds a little bit of holiday cowboy. And I'm really excited for when it gets colder and I can actually wear these because they're adorable and pointy and very petite looking. And I feel very put together and very powerful when I wear these boots. This whole outfit, especially with the sweater and the boots, gives me very liberal arts college student, which me, a high school student, obviously knows a lot about. This is very artsy, very whimsical type of look. Now as the weather gets even colder and you're still willing to suffer for that look instead of just putting on a winter coat, I've got this beauty of the ball, this leather jacket, also found by my mom. Thank you, mom. This jacket was also pretty worn in, so it was very soft and it fit really well. Paired with this mini skirt sweater combo, I feel like it looks like one big fancy dress and with the boots, it looks even more professional. I'm in absolute awe of this jacket. Like, I can't believe I found one in my size and it fit this well. And this looks amazing. It's got pockets, it's got these nice little buttons and a beautiful little detective type of collar. And I feel like the leather at the top of this outfit from the jacket matches the leather from the bottom, which is the boots. And I feel like it coordinates really well and they get along really well. And if you want to dress a little more modestly, then you could just swap out that skirt back to those light wash jeans. It gives it a very beautiful late fall, early winter look. Moving on to a winter essential, which is a turtleneck. So here I style this white turtleneck with that same leather jacket. Gives it a very motorcycle riding Rosa Diaz type look. So I think that this outfit is definitely gold. But if you want to go for a more soft approach, a more cute person at the library, then you could swap out that leather jacket for a nice little flannel. I've got this beautiful purple and brown colored flannel that I also found in the sleeper aisles. So make sure to check that out if you ever go thrifting. I could not describe how soft this material is. It's like the most comforting, thick, but not super hot type of material. It's a very purple and blue colored outfit, but with the boots, it gives it a little more of a sharp English professor type vibe. That one teacher that you're terrified of, but you still want to impress really badly because she's amazing. I could totally see someone at a library or at a bookshop or cafe wearing this outfit, just kind of hanging around and people watching. Very much the embodiment of the word Sonder, where you suddenly realize that everyone else's life is just as complex as yours. Here's a transition from this flannel to this sweater. For the super cold days, when you still refuse to wear a coat, I found this oversized Etni hoodie that I just put on on top of the turtleneck. This whole look feels very sporty and very loose and relaxed. The sweater is super big. It's very thick and also worn in, so it's super comfortable. It feels like something that I found from an old friend and I stole it from their closet. Or you could scratch the turtleneck and just wear it on its own. A very basic fit, but very classic and very beautiful. And it's relaxed enough to feel like pajamas, but not so messy looking that it actually is pajamas. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I recently went thrift shopping and I came back with a lot of goods, as you guys probably have seen. I'm actually really surprised with all these finds. I think I did a really good job. For a lot of you, school actually probably already started. So I hope that this video helped a little, gave you a little bit of inspiration. I hope that I showed how you can layer some things or layer different styles or different materials so that it looks nice and put together. All of you wear uniforms. Also have a great, amazing year. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to tap that big subscribe button. I love you all. Stay safe. Have a good school year. Drink a lot of water. The pandemic's still going on, so please wear your masks. Please get vaxxed. And yeah, bye.